Yo, what is good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. And it is Friday. It is Friday, August 21. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, August 21. Uh, and I'm about to take a puff of my CBD, the Composition Blend. And today's episode is when your thoughts are preventing you from taking action, do this. Now, the one thing that I've personally um, have challenges with and the thing that I see a lot of people, um, whether my surroundings or people in general that are looking for time management or how do I... Um, even if I'm, if I don't have the passion, how can I still continue on, you know, it's like, oh, if I'm not passionate about it, you know, or if I'm not inspired to do, you know, inspiration is a feeling, you know, so people are trying to do action based things, stuff that don't require thinking or feeling and we're trying to that's why it keeps on that's why it's a brick wall every time you want to work on the things that you need to do sometimes you will run into this problem where you can distract yourself you can and you know that's where discipline and thing comes into play but i want to dive really deeper into you know why the thoughts prevent you from taking action and what you can do about it now i know me and you might have heard this on you know uh earlier podcasts you know i'm very cerebral you know, I love being in my mind, you know, abstract thoughts and different things like that research. But what I'm finding and what I'm finding with this 90 day challenge. So if you, you're not aware of this 90 day challenge that I'm doing, it's 90 days of putting out a podcast uh, every day, six days a week, you know, because um, Sundays, that's my straight up not doing anything day. Um, but yeah, six days out the week for the next 90 days. Right now, we are on day five. Round of applause. I thought I had one of those little <laughs> applause, little effects or whatever. But what I'm learning in this is, you know, you, whenever your thoughts are, you know, preventing you from from taking action so that can be from talking to that girl or guy or it can be from this as simple as doing the necessary steps you know some people find it so difficult to um transition from working for someone else to working for yourself it sounds easy you're just all like oh yeah da, 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 da. you know i'm gonna work for myself and all these different things but there's a couple of things to take into consideration. One, if you've never worked for yourself, how do you know how you work as far as working for yourself? You have to create a system. You literally have to t create a system, a schedule, a routine that you have to do. Some people walk in their day and they're like, I'm not inspired to do, so therefore I'm not going to do. Or they feel I can't do or, you know, all of these different things that come into mind, you know, the overthinking that requires you, the perfectionism that, you know, prevents you from taking action, all of these different things. So what to do instead? The one thing that I'm finding that is allowing me to put the thought aside because it could be very crippling. You know, your whole day and you're just sitting there like, oh, I know I need to do this, I need to do this. Well, maybe if I do some more research or mo maybe if I get a watch a motivational video, 
not realizing like i was selling my my homeboy that's like candy you know it's like candy to the system and that we think that's what we want or need and anytime that that you know feeling comes up instead of doing the actual thing which is doing (laughs) we will revert that action and i know in my case so let me let me bring them a bit up an example that that i've gone through before so i'll know that i need to hit back up clients or to edit a video or a podcast or something like that and i'll sit there like okay this needs to be done i've been pushing this back for far too long you know this needs to be done and then what will end up happening is i will find something and i could just say i I get distracted not even like a normal distraction i honestly feel like it's doing something that is assisting with my business but the thing is that instead of doing the things i actually need to do i will revert and i will research and that will in my mind make it feel like oh i did something in regards to my business a lot of people confuse busy work with the actual work you know if you're looking at as far as for example the 80 20 rule and I, I brought this up on the on a previous podcast too so l- they say that you know 80 percent of your income comes from the 20 percent of work that that that's that it, it accounts as far as for 20 percent of the work now that depends on what type of work you're doing and like i was saying yesterday sometimes we do this 80 percent work and we're wondering why we're only getting 20 percent of the financial return from that so it's not to say research is bad it's not to say anything like that but if you like myself would would make a pattern out of it every time it would be time to actually do that 20 percent work i would do the 80 percent work and that 80 percent work would be the research instead of the 20 percent which and for for me i'll give you an example and let me know as far as like if you're working for yourself or different things like that um if you have if if this you know is kind of similar so with me the 20 percent work that i actually need to do would be creating content because that content for one builds awareness of me what it is that i'm doing i get to put my music in there you know i get to put my products and services as far as in there and i get to deliver value you know um which all transacts into either new fans new people in the community um sales you know it's a big one (laughs) you know networking contacts opportunities you know um and the same thing as far as with i know for a, a large chunk of my stuff i have to do the reaching out you know so i run as far as a cbd company and organization basically and i know in order for getting my sponsorships or opportunities or different things like that i'm the one reaching out so there goes like contacts and reaching out so i have to make sure you know that i'm I'm doing this and this and this and there's several things that just need to be done that do not require thought all it requires is doing the thought of it like oh is this perfect or oh, this this and this or you know what if this person says no or all of these other things that that honestly don't matter and i and i thought to myself i was just like i'm at this point right now where i'm creating not less not necessarily a schedule but as far as what 
is what are the the work requirements like what are the action steps the 20 percent that needs to be written out or typed out and those are the things that i need to repeat daily those are the you know non-questionable like there's no questioning those those need to be done and anytime that i revert away from that then that's where it becomes an issue and then it starts getting into that 80 percent work that doesn't bring in the 80 percent financial return you know and so that's some of the things that you know i look at and it basically it allows for you to get the stuff done you know you can have many different interests you can i've seen so many successful people that do you know you can have the free time you want usually where people make it look easy is because of the years and years and years and years of work to create a system that allows for them to to knock it out you know if you only want to work four hours a day two hours a day one hour a day you have to make sure that that 20 percent work is in there you have the rest of the free time you you want <laughs> you know as long as that high energy 20 percent work is being done that brings the 80 percent um return so I said, when your thoughts are preventing you from taking action, the one thing you want to do is the action. (laughs) You want to do the action. There's any time that I've seen doing the opposite. I could sit here and I could be like, okay, um, yeah, this, 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 and this needs to get done. No, you do the 20% work first any research like i'm using i was i follow this one i subscribe i subscribe to this one youtube channel uh the woman's name and the channel's name is Erin on demand and she had mentioned this one platform called asana and asana is like this task website um that allows you to create like a bunch of cool stuff and honestly this has allowed me to keep things organized so it has like a two you can have like these different boards lists timeline calendar more uh but what she showed and what i really like is the boards now this is different from like a a pinterest board or anything like that they have little little plus signs and little you know boxes and like for example like i have the the podcast episode um, name here and then all of the reoccurring things such as the social media links and my items and different things like that that's there so anytime that I drop that makes it easy all I need to do is change around what the episode uh, number is and what it's about basically for the description and then I have like a brainstorm board which this one I've been using a little bit more um, on here because you know i have evernote as well i still use evernote i use evernote as far as uh for everything you know i'm not always gonna have my computer with me and i know that they have a sign app and everything like that but i've been using evernote for years so this is allowing me this asana app um is allowing me to just be a lot more productive instead of scrambling around um and having to look for whatever and there's definitely you can use this with you can do this stuff with just the email i mean that's what i would do i would if i had an idea or anything like that and it was just like right there i would make an email and send it to myself or i would make like a pad or anything a memo pad and save it to myself everyone's going to be different i'm still trying to understand why this this way of looking at it is allowing me to be more productive but um it's working so i'm not going to uh deny that (laughs) but uh anyways other than that i hope y'all are doing good on this friday i just smoke in this bowl of cbd i'm glad i was able to get this podcast recorded so 
other than that, I hope y'all have an amazing day, an amazing weekend. And again, this is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Make sure, you know, add this to your podcast playlist, you know, and if you want to support me, if you're listening to this on YouTube, hit the like, hit the subscribe, you know, tag some people in and send this to people who you think need to hear it. And as well, check out the 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 East store, the composition East store at dabtro.com forward slash shop. I have a fiction book that I wrote. I have music that I make. Um, I have services that I offer. And I have products, healing products, such as CBD. So definitely check it out. Friday, um, I'm going to do some more work stuff, but I'm not going to spend all day doing it. There's a couple of organizational things that I really need to go ahead and get done so that way everything will be smooth. So yeah, again, thank you for watching or listening to the Composition Podcast. Peace.